guys, what is up? Floodmon14 here, and we're back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. So, uh, last episode, uh, Briar got pretty lucky and, uh, crushed us. Um, yeah, uh, and I took uh, about a three or so hour break in between episodes. Uh, so, uh, I actually, um, built a new deck, and we're gonna try it out. It's a, uh, I think this deck has the potential to be pretty good in this game, all things considered. So let's go against Briar here. So, I, I duel, let's duel. Will you duel? Yes. Deep breaths, cleansing breaths. Okay, I'm ready, let's do this. <laughs> All right, Briar. Let's see. Let's face each other again, young man. All right. Duel. Um, interesting first hand. Yeah, like I said, I, I did build a different deck. It may not look very different with this opening hand, but it is different. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we got some wind monsters in here. Bird face. Probably kind of curious. So yeah, this is actually a, uh, a Harpy Lady deck. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you guys why it's pretty good. Alright, so we'll send Sinister Serpent. And that will give us a monster. Perhaps I should play Swords of Revealing Light. That's probably a good call since I don't have any monsters. Uh, hmm. Or maybe I should play nothing, see what he does. Play Heavy Storm. Okay. Yeah, one in the turn. One in the turn. Go ahead, Briar. It, it's my turn. I draw. I, I think I'll summon Goblin Elite Attack Force. Yeah, that's gonna do some massive damage. E e e eat this! <laughs> Alright, buddy. Alright. Two face. Uh, my turn's done! Oh, Slate Warrior. Very good, very good. Alright, Sinister Serpent. No, I will not chain. Return to my hand, buddy. Alright, let's bait out the Magic Jammer. Heavy Storm. Let's go. Yeah, we knew it. I reveal the face down card I had on my field. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm fine with that because I still have Mystical Space Typhoon, buddy. So, what do you throw away there? Mad Sword Beast? Eh, not the best card. Let's see, so we got Mystical Space Typhoon. Let's just go for it. You got two Magic Jammers? You gonna throw away two cards? <laughs> That'd be funny, but no. Alright, get rid of the last face down. I assume it was a continuous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's definitely not a continuous one. Because I figured if it was continuous, you know, he tends to play his uh, continuous ones, you know, right away. So, yeah. We will set Rush Recklessly. This guy does have a few high powered monsters. But we're looking good now. We finally got a wind monster. Sleek Warrior. Air Cutter Attack! Yeah, and I'm hoping to get more Slate Warrior as well as a few other cards for this deck. Because uh, we only have like one Slate Warrior and like two uh, Sapphire Dragons, so definitely hoping to get more of those as we go. But for now, I think this deck will work. Flying Kamakuri, now that's really what we want to see. Because this can search, uh, I have one of the Vanilla Harpy Lady and two, um... Uh, to Cyber Harpy Lady. So, what we, what we really want to see is, uh, yeah, Harpy Lady regardless of time. Oh, good thing I did that. The thing had, uh, 2,000 defense. Uh, we'll summon Flying Kamakuri. Not too afraid to summon because he already played, uh, we already destroyed Torrential Tribute. The problem is he probably has Mirror Force face down or something, you know, but, uh, oh, looks like he doesn't. All right, we're good for now. Go, Slate Warrior, Air Cutter Attack, all right. Nice, so this is going pretty good. All right, I am my turn, Briar. We're winning a duel, we're winning a duel, yeah. All right, another new face down. Now this one's probably one of his continuous ones, I would imagine. Oh, my, my turn's done. Okay, buddy. No problem. 
I draw? Harpy's brother, sweet. Yeah, yeah, I, I reveal the face down on my field. Ah, Call of the Haunted is a good card. Very good, very good. Now, I can defeat his monster, thanks to Rush Recklessly. Uh, but should I? I think I probably should, yeah. So let's go ahead and play Rush Recklessly here. Uh, we'll play it on Harpy's Brother. Giving Harpy's Brother 2,500. All right. Go, Harpy's Brother. Air Claw Slice Attack. Mm, that attack name didn't sound very good. I need to come up with a better one. Harpy's Brother deserves better. Kill Air Cutter Attack. Ah, just a mad sword beast, huh? Not bad. Go, Dragonfly. Uh, what does Dragon... What would a Dragonfly use? Because that's basically what this card is. It's a big old Dragonfly. What would a Dragonfly use? Wing Attack. Ha! Well, I could really say Wing Attack for any card in this deck, though. <laughs> just about... Another thing um, that I'm really, really, really wondering about this deck. Uh, thanks, bro. Attack! Oh, yeah, you're gonna attack that? I mean, I'm just gonna float into another monster. That's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, I'll special summon. Uh, let's play uh, Harpy Lady. Yeah, as you can see, we got a few targets. We got Sasuke Samurai, which I really like against the face down monsters, and uh, as well as Dragon Dwelling in the cave. It's got some good defense. But, yeah, let's play Harpy Lady. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. One card I really wonder if it's in this game is, um, is... What card I was really wondering? Oh, uh, Icarus Attack. Yeah, I don't know if that's in this game or not, but man, that is a hell of a card for Winged Beast, folks. Go, Harpy Lady! Yeah, hand. Harpy Lady, Rose Whip Attack. Except I don't have... Is Rose Whip even in this game? I don't think so, but, uh... Anyway, Harpy's Brother, finish it off. Sky Cleaver Attack. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, Sky Cleaver. Game over. All right, we get, uh... Yeah, we destroyed four in battle. 200, very nice. 474, not bad. Yo! If I wasn't so nervous, I wouldn't have lost. I wouldn't have. I don't know why I give him that voice, but it sounds pretty... Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good when I give him that voice. Alright, next duel. We're probably just gonna duel Bulver Guard there. Because not many people come out at night. Yeah, let's just uh, go against Bulver Guard here at night. Cafeteria. A duel? Uh, I'm not very good, so I don't think I'll be much of an opponent. But what? You're not scared of me? No, I am not. Bulver Guard, we've dueled many times by now, my friend. Alright, we will be going second. All right. Better hand this time. We got some monsters. Uh, it's my turn, so I draw. Uh, I'll throw it down a face down and end my turn, Flood. All right, Beauregard, that's it. Cyber Harpy Lady. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. Let's go to the details. Yeah, this card is always treated as Harpy Lady, and it's got 1,800 win. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so we got some stuff here. We got uh, Rush Recklessly, which is good. Set Rush. And let's just summon, let's not summon Harpy Lady in case he's got some, uh, you know, spells and traps. Let's just play uh, Luster Dragon. And yeah, of course, uh, with the Harpy Lady uh, uh, strategy, I do have uh, two elegant egotists in this deck, so yeah. Pretty standard in a Harpy Lady deck. You want one or two elegant egotists to, you know, just really, you know, maximize, swarm the field, you know. All right, let's see what she got, Bower Guard. Uh, I'll summon Giant Orc in attack mode. Hey, that's fine, bro. Bring it on, bring it on. My gun tells me to activate Gauntlet Thief. Why didn't you do that last turn, bro? What else? What else you got? Nothing? Attacking, huh? Uh, I'll use Giant Orc to attack your Luster Dragon Flood. Oh, no, you won't, buddy. I've got a spell card, Bower Guard. Go, rush recklessly. This enrages my Sapphire Dragon and gives it 700 more attack points. That's right, in your turn, buddy. Ooh, yeah, and we got this card. Check this out, Spiritual Wind Art, Miyabi. Tribute a win, select a card on your opponent's side of the field and return to the bottom of the owner's deck. That's pretty strong, pretty strong effects. 
Uh, let's summon Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. Uh oh. Oh, oh, let's see my face down. Trouble. Ah, uh, good call, good call. I was gonna go for United We Stand there, but he had the trap card, so nah, we're, we're not gonna go for it for 800. Go! Sapphire Flame Attack! Alright, I end my turn. What do you got? Look, my gun tells me to activate Upstore Goblin. Well, I'll take the grand, I guess. Ah, defending, huh? That's okay, I do that too, buddy. Ooh, he drew two face downs. Okay. Oh, there's nothing left to do. I have my turn. If you say so, Barbergard. Ah, now we come to why I. This is why I really like the idea of this deck. So check this out. The field spell, Harpy's Hunting Ground. Yeah. When a Harpy Lady or Harpy Lady Sisters is normal or special summoned to the field, destroy one spell or trap on the field. Increase the attack and defense of all winged beasts by 200. Now, the attack and defense doesn't really matter, but yeah, summoning Harpy Lady, destroying a smaller trap, with how trap heavy these guys are, I really like the idea of that. So, um, now to start, I'm gonna play United We Stand, try to bait out the Magic Jammer. Yep, there we go. Uh, I'll let you see my face now, Magic Jammer. <laughs> yeah, figured he had the Magic Jammer, so, you know. And that way we can use the hunting ground on his last face down. What'd he throw away here? Uh, Battle Ox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good card. He played that first turn. Now I activate Harpy's Hunting Ground. Beauregard, this gives my air monsters 200 more points. But more importantly, since I just summoned a Harpy Lady, I can destroy your face down card. Ha! Get that out of here. Hunting Instincts. What do we destroy? What do we destroy? We got Torrential Tribute. Dude, why didn't you play that? Why didn't you, you know you could have played that since I just summoned, right? Oh my god. Uh, well anyway, I guess now we'll just enter the battle phase. Harpy Lady, go! Attack! Cyber Harpy Slash! Ah, the good old hand hand. Please bounce my Cyber Harpy Lady, please. Oh, darn, darn, darn. I was hoping he would do that because then I could use it to uh, hunting ground again next turn. Oh man, yeah, this strategy is kind of good against the uh, penguin soldier, you know, hang hang usual BS. So that's good. That's really. Good. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. All right, so he's got a new face down. Oh, uh, so the new eye in my turn. Now something we could do here, and. I could play uh, Miyabi, a spiritual wind art, but let me just summon first. Let me see if it's a trap hole. No, okay. Well, I know I could play Miyabi, but let's just let's just attack. You know, maybe it's something like negate attack or something. Oh, it's nothing. Okay, even better, even better, guys. Go sapphire flame attack. <laughs> All right, this duel's looking good. Uh, help me, brother. Oh, no one can help you now, Beauregard. I end my turn. All right, let's see what he gets here. Do -do -do -do. A face down monster, eh? All right. Well, I think during your end phase, Beauregard, I play Spiritual Wind Art, Miyabi. So I'll tribute my Luster Dragon and I'll send your monster to the bottom of your deck. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I've got seven tools for the bandit. I guess I should have figured he had that since uh, he didn't stop our attack. But okay, we got him to burn a thousand life points. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. But I have another sapphire dragon for you, Beauregard. And I'll set my magic jammer in case you get snatched deal. But will that even matter? Go! Cyber Harpy Slash Attack! Oh, it's just another Battle Ox. Good. Let's wrap this tool up, Beauregard. Go! Sapphire Dragon! Sapphire Flame Attack! <laughs> Ryder, save me! Game over! Alright, 462. Pretty good. Yeah, I like how Hunting Ground performed there. That was pretty good. Uh, I already told you I don't really want a tool. <laughs> I'm so tired. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, let's save. There we go. Nice. Now, today is Sunday, so let's uh, check the calendar. 
Uh, yeah, it's the 17th. Okay, so, uh, real quick here, guys. I'm gonna schedule some duels for the five days. And then we will, um, go from there. So let's do Jaden tomorrow. Sure! There's nothing I'd love better than a dueling. And I love a challenge. I'll wait for you at classroom. Don't you mean at the classroom? Dude, this is a school, Jaden. What the heck, man? Ah, and there's one person we're missing on the mail tree here. I just realized that. I don't think uh, Chaz or Alexis will duel us at this point, by the way. Uh, maybe they will. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Tuesday. Let's go with Cyrus. Ah, uh, sorry. I promised I'd help Jaden write his report. Oh! So Cyrus doesn't want to duel us at night on Tuesday, huh? That's interesting. Well, what about... What about in the morning, Cy? What about in the morning, buddy? What? Promise you'd help Jaden? Well, fine. I guess I'll try Chumley. Uh, to... Or Bastion. Yeah, let's try Bastion Tuesday morning, then. Jeez. What about you, Bastion? I don't have time. The housekeeping staff are checking our rooms. I have to erase all my equations off the walls. Ah, interesting. Well, Chumster, I guess it's you. Tuesday morning. Is there some kind of event Tuesday? Nah, I gotta take a makeup class on dual stretch. I can't flunk again. Not licious. Dude, no one wants to duel me on Tuesday. What's the deal, yo yo? What about nights? Okay, there we go. Finally. Sure, I gotta get out of some bed sometime and get some grilled cheese. There we go. Jeez, that took quite a while. Uh, okay, well, let's try Cyrus on Wednesday. Wednesday p.m. What do you say now, Cy? Sure, why not? If I don't do them, I'll never be as good as Jaden. Is the test room good for you? Yeah, sure, cool, bro. Uh, let's try Bastion for Thursday. Uh, doesn't matter. Uh, night, I guess. Interesting. I accept your challenge, Mike. We shall meet at test ring. Now that that's decided, I'll research your deck. Yeah, yeah, good luck with those equations, bub. Alright, and for Friday, let's do... Uh, let's just do Cyrus again. Doesn't really matter, I don't think, but... Anyway... Sure, why not? I don't do. Yeah, yeah, we know. Test room good for you? Sure, Cy. And so now let me check my calendar here. There we go. Now we got duels scheduled all throughout. Oh, what's on Christmas, by the way? Spoilers. Ooh, PM exclamation mark. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what that means. Good to look out for that, I guess. Um, well, anyway, let's uh, save. And what time are we at, guys? 18 minutes? Um, well, I think that'll do it for this episode. Sorry for the short part, but, uh, well, no, 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 no. let's see. Because it's night, right? Uh, well, to round out the episode, maybe let's do, like, one or two time duels. Yeah, it's 18 minutes. Let's go into about 22 minutes or so. We'll do one or two time duels here, just to, just to, you know... Get us to that 20 minute mark. All right. So we got Mama Grizzly, Blue Eyes. Okay, Salvage. What's in the graveyard? Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. Ah. What's in my dick? Detail. Uh-huh. Well, as an expert flood duelist, I can tell you where this is going. I activate Salvage. Now I get two Aqua Monsters from my graveyard with 1,500 attack or less. And I'll choose these two, Mama Grizzly and an Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. Now I summon Amphibious Bugroth, MK3, and equip it with the Axe of Despair. This gives it a 1,000 points. Now you may think it can't get past my blue eyes, or that's where you're wrong, Kaiba. Go, Mama Grizzly, Bear Claw Slash. Now I'll use my Mama Grizzly's second effect. When it's destroyed in battle, I get a water monster with 1,500 or less points, and I choose Maid of the Aqua. Her effect activates now, making the field Umi, which means my amphibious bug Ralph can attack your life points directly. Kill Hydro Cannon. All right. Huh. 
perfect duel, perfect duel. Uh, all right, 20 minutes, let's do 47. Zombira in the Dark, Jinzo Spear Dragon, huh? Do, 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 do. Ooh, this one seems pretty straightforward. Uh, what's this? Call of the Haunted. Interesting. Call of the Haunted. Do we even need to play Call of the Haunted here? I don't think so, no. Uh, let's just go with... Oh, we do need to play Call of the Haunted, actually. Okay, I actually... I activate Black Illusion Ritual. Now, I'll tribute my beautiful Zamara at the top to summon the one and only Relinquished. Now, Relinquished, use your effect to absorb this Jinzo's power. Mm, but that's not all. I equip my Relinquished with the Ritual Weapon. This boosts him by a total of 1,500 points because he's under level 6. Now I activate Call of the Haunted. This revives my beautiful Zombira the Dark in attack mode. Mm. And now it's time for battle, Yugi Boy. Zombira attack. Mega Kick Hero attack. And yes, Zombira can't attack directly, so that's what you have to do. Go relinquished! I am illusion attack! Hmm, looks like I win, Yugi boy. All right, and we are at 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So yeah, just a couple quick time goals there. I think that'll do just fine. All right, guys, thank you all so much for joining me. And that's going to be it for this part, but uh, don't go anywhere because we're going to do the next part in just a few minutes. But I want to thank you all for joining me today, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.